Well, it may only be Monday, but of course we are always looking ahead to the rest of the week as far as the forecast goes. Frosty areas to greet you as you step out the door in the morning, especially for our friends down toward Worcester and Dover, New Philadelphia, Carrollton. Temperatures are going to be in the 30s. We'll be in the 40s closer to the lakeshore. And for the afternoon, expect upper 50s across northeast Ohio. We'll have a nice mix of clouds and sunshine. Overnight temperatures. This is uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. And look at where we end up with the mid-30s in many locations south of U.S. 30. So we are talking about uh, the potential for frost here. This is not a freeze, but it will be a frosty start to the day. So if you park outside or... Uh, if you have some very tender plants that you're still trying to get the last couple tomatoes off of the vine or the green peppers that are maybe still there, uh, you may want to go ahead and cover up what you can. Otherwise, uh, we are going to have that frost nip potential uh, to do a little bit of damage, but it won't be a killing frost most likely as we head through the night. So that is going to be a cold start. Not only that, but we will have light breezes and the temperatures you see here in the blues. Those are your wind chill temperatures and in some areas, good chunk of the area, we're going to have the wind chills down near freezing and if not uh, a couple degrees below. Frost advisory, Richland, Ashland, Wayne Holmes, Tuscarora, and Carroll counties, all those southern Medina, Summit, Stark counties can't completely rule out those chances as we do have partly cloudy skies that are ongoing right now. We've been watching a few showers coming in off of the lake. There is that potential that continues for the night as that westerly breeze continues to blow cooler air across the relatively warmer waters. That's why our lakeshore temperatures are hovering up around 50. And by morning, again, we'll probably be in the low 40s. Winds are expected to back off just a bit as we get into the overnight. And we are kind of stuck along with a lot of areas here in the northeastern quadrant of North America in a very cool patch of air. There is warmer air out to the southwest of us and that will slowly but surely build eastward. So we are anticipating a nice warming trend to come in and that will help to boot this storm system out of here that we have been dealing with all weekend, last weekend, and even back into the middle of last week. Our next storm system is sitting out here to the west of Seattle at this point. Watch how this baby unfolds here. Uh, just going to do a quick fast forward and bring this storm system onshore. Wednesday at noon, notice the warm Warm air that is building here in the nation's midsection. Our storm system in the Great Lakes is moving out. We'll have a warm front that begins to move northward, and that will uh, sweep in some nice mild air for this time of the year. We're talking mid and upper 60s by the middle of the week toward the end of the week. But there's that storm system. It's starting to drag another batch of cold air to the south. And as we head through the weekend, that will move our direction. So we are expecting rain for Saturday and for Sunday. And then we're going to throw the lakes into the mix as we head through Sunday into Monday. So it looks like those rain chances are going to be lingering for us. National Design Mart forecast for the day tomorrow will be in the 50s. Beautiful day with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. The rest of your Union Home Mortgage forecast gives us much more mild temperatures in the mid 60s through midweek. The warm front gets in here. That's going to help to hike the temperatures into the upper 60s with mostly cloudy skies. Rain and wind will be here this weekend. It's going to be kind of gnarly at the Browns game, but it looks like temperatures are going to hold on the cool side of things even as we get into the start of next week.